fans over here with Derrick James. How you doing? Good, how you doing, brother? What's I'm up? good. Congratulations. First of all, you know, you I know you've been a war for the you know great coach. Right, yeah, yeah. And how does it feel, you know, that people mention it that you are one of the great coaches in order that you have in your corner is Spence? Hey, I'm doing good, man. I don't know, you know, it's like in life, you never know where you're gonna end up. A beautiful place to be and I'm happy about it. I see I feel like, you know, if I was your fighter, I feel like, you know, I would say it's the best accomplishment that I could have as a fighter because when you come, like, it says a lot of things from you that your knowledge and experience you put in Errol Spence. When we're going to see, you know, fight him next? Is it possible that we're going to uh, see him fight? I, I hope he fights maybe in December. No, I hope so. Possibly in December it should be pretty good. I don't know who, I don't know anything about the opponent, but I think maybe December. It should be interesting to see him fight again. A lot of people love, you know, the way he right. fights, their style and everything. Right. Do you think that it's possible that we're going to see it with, right now, with Sean Porter or either one, Danny yeah, I Garcia? Hope so. I hope so. I hope it's one of the two guys. I hope the winner this fight next year sometime, get a fight with Arrow, yeah. It, it will be a great fight. I would say it would be a tremendous fight. We still, you know, got to see who's going to be the winner from Sean Porter and Danny yes, Garcia. Right, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you are aware, but I'm pretty sure you are. Oscar De La Hoya mentioned this, and I'm not saying because of I, me. I heard about the triple. The, the Canelo and Spence. What do you think of that? You know, is it possible that in the future we could see it? I mean, I'm not the promoter. I'm not the manager. I'm just the trainer. But it would be beautiful if it would happen. You know, I don't, I'm not shying away from that fight. I think it's a beautiful fight. It's a great fight. So I'm not going to shy away from it. I'm going to up. I, I want what Errol wants. So if he wants to fight, I want it. It will be, I say this, it will be a tremendous fight to see Spence. Because I know he's a bigger guy. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. he was, right. his natural weight, if I'm not mistaken, is around like 150 something, uh, I guess. Kind of. 147, but he's a little heavy every now and then. You know, it depends, you know. But when it comes to cut down, you know, like weight, he does like perfectly. He don't right. have no, uh, no issues. Struggle, no, no, no. no struggles. Oh, that's a perfect yeah, thing. He, like within like two, three weeks before the fight, even a month, he's like four or five pounds away. He's real cold. Three, four pounds away, real cold. That, that's, that's interesting when it comes like he, he, he don't have no problem, no. no issue with that. Coach, I know September 15th is right around the corner. Triple G Canelo. How do you see this second fight that it will go? I think Canelo will win the fight. You think in this fight that he plays a lot of, you know, a fact that Canelo is is the youngest one and Triple G is getting older and the age of Triple G is a disadvantage? What do you think of that? I think it's all about skill set. It, his age is one thing, but I think it's about skill set also. So I'm not going to, I don't want to put it on his age, I want to put it on his skill set. I think that Cane uh, Canelo may, I mean, um, Triple G may go be more aggressive. They may open him up for the counter punch. They got counter punch before. I think he made the counter punch again. I mean, that's what I think. I don't know. Definitely, I would say, you know, we we would like to see this fight. You know, nobody want to miss it because yeah. it's a lot of it's it's a lot of action, and they and they has to resolve something that in the past they couldn't do it for some reason. You know, the pets or whatever. You know, oh, yeah, it was yeah. in. I wasn't there, but they said it, everything yeah. that it was true. You know, I can I can say if it was true or not. But yeah. Yeah. coach, any message that you would like to give to all the fight fans and everybody that loves support, you know, the fans and all all thank, the boxing. Thank you for all the love and support. Everything y'all give us. Thank you, coach. Appreciate that for that.